I love the whole perspective from the Dark Territory so far. And the most important people, I guess, is like the leader of the different factions because there's a lot of different groups. Dark Mages probably are pretty important. Assassin Guild is pretty interesting because they just immediately poisoned Dark Berkeley. And Dark Berkeley and Fanati are done. Immediately gotten rid of. And it's kind of sad. That girl got done so dirty. A1 Pictures or is, A1 Pictures is so ruthless when it comes to just... You know, she had a mind break and liquids were coming out of her face and she was gripping the bed and just Jesus fucking Christ. And then Mr. Miller. Dude, Mr. Miller, bro, absolute menace. As a kid, he was fascinated with the human soul and, and how this concept exists and he killed a girl and then a soul came out. So I don't know if he's being schizo or delusional, but it seems like as a kid, he had like a power to like consume the souls and then he could see from their perspective. He is, he lacks like this human element. So he seeks something genuine and real. And by consuming other people's souls, he gets a peek at what that could be. And when he consumed Fanatio's soul, dude, and he saw like what kind of memories are good. I, I think like... <laughs> They could have, I don't know, I wish that like they showed us like Berkeley and Fanatio making love and, and Mr. Miller be like, oh, this is the taste of a fucking woman or something. The dude is an absolute menace, but it's also ridiculously funny the way that they showed us how his powers worked. Other than that, Dark Lord Vecta is, you know, warmongering. The side that actually wants peace from the Dark Knights are gone. Vasajo, Vasago is put in leader as the Dark Knight. And for us, right? The final round of the load test. As soon as the walls comes down, we gotta fend off against the Dark Territory. But with the people we have, I have no faith. We fucked up. Truly, we fucked up. Quinella did nothing wrong. All the monkeys that exist in our human population, most of them don't even deserve to live. They should have been turned into robots and fight on our behalf. Let's begin today's reaction. Eugene! Dusselvolt. <laughs> Amayori's brother. Alice is coming. He can sense Amayori. Shio! Shinjite orimashita zo! Kirito's here too! And today we should have asked Nashona. Because last episode was fully focused in dark territory. And of course, you know, Buro and Vasago, they got, you know, OP accounts. But Asuna too, I think, got a god account. It should be like... Who should it be? It should be Stacia, right? Or like maybe the god of sun, Solaris or something. It should be Stacia, though. Arisama. Night before battle. Yo, is Asuna showing up? What would a good way for Asuna to show up if she did get Stacia account? I think that if she plays on the roleplay element of being a goddess, and like a goddess like showing up in front of the masses and like lifting up their spirits and morale before the fight, that would be hype, right? It's just like, oh my god, an actual goddess descending from the heavens right now to cheer us against the fight. That would be very impactful. Three thousand. <laughs> Fuck, we have no people to fight with. Yeah, I thought we had 30-something, bro. Half of them are already all dead. They're all gone. What? Where they go? Okay. So they're not available. So there's 10 dormant knights right now that maybe we could awaken if Asuna is here. Okay. Then we have seven here. What's the other five? You're fucking around with that vegetable. Oh boy. He's not wrong. Eldre is actually making a lot of sense. And it's fucking annoying that Kirito is baggage right now. But if Asuna shows up, I think that he'll regain his like ego. Remember that thing? Like his... Uh, Flucklight is still intact, but that, that ego part is like fried and until Asta can show up and remind him who he is, then like he's just gonna be like this. Berkeley! 
思ったより元気そうで安心おじさまちょっと顔がふ騎士長んわいわいわいムーチェンスでキリトを切るつもりよわおチェルドファカウウェイウェイウェイナナナチェルウィニーヘム大丈夫だジョーちゃん Got tense. Oh! The intent! O おじさまジョーちゃん、今のが見えたかい What did I see? I saw the intent. Okay. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. You did? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. What? What? <laughs> wait, 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 what the fuck? It's, it's that weird mechanic with the knight's intent that wasn't really explained too well. But we've seen a couple examples of that happening. And I guess he did use that, mat, like, that intent right now and he just blocked it with the willpower because he's still kind of there. Okay. <laughs> He's just acting on reflexes. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> okay, so Kirito's gonna be a vegetable until the moment that Alice is in fucking danger, like she's about to die. I thought that like when Asuna shows up, Kirito would regain his senses, but all right, we gotta wait till Alice is in super danger. そんなわけだからよ、エルドリエ。若者一人くらい。<笑> no, I don't have a good feeling about Eldrie, dude. I think he actually loves Alice too. And there's something else going on. I, I don't like this from Eldrie. He's gonna fuck something up. はい。ちょっと待っててね。Calms down after holding both swords. Kirito. Dual wielding. Even as a vegetable. Wait, thinking about love? No, I think that's too mean, too. I think that, like, this Alice, obviously, she's not Zuber Galax, but still, she's like her own independent person. Maybe I'm allowed to love with him. So, you need to not suppress your feelings and show your love to Kirito, and then Asuna's gonna show up then and get mad. Do it. Maybe. Try it. Oh, Eldria. TSA! What the? Oh, shit! They, they're back! They're back? I don't think we've ever seen them again. Does she know that Yuji was dead? I guess so, right? Like, I thought that we would never see them again. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Are we show Kirito to them? そんなに歌手剣士に過ぎないのだから、私のことはアリスと呼んでね。どうしたの？弦楽院でお目にかかった時とご印象が違うものですから。チェインスラットとキリトは何か私に用事があるの？私たちキス様、アリス様が黒髪の手を握ったと聞き及びます。だが私たちの。Even if Kirito meets Ronnie and Tisa, I don't think they'll be impactful enough to like wake him up. I still think that it's gonna be Asuna at the end. そうか、そうよね。あなたたち、学院でキリトと親しくしていたんだものね。やっぱりキリト、ユージオ先輩も。いや、ラストパート、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、ライト、uh oh. Yeah. I forgot he doesn't even have a right arm right now either. The broken sword, bro. Yu-Gi-Oh dead. It's a bad, bad, bad ending right now. And he cheated on you, Tise. Yuji didn't even think about you. It was all Alice and Queen Alice. Tisei was never even thought of what? It's responding. What did you hear? 
Cap. What? Really? Oh, absolutely they did. Maybe not Ronnie, but Tisei definitely did. Killed to protect them. Now, if Alice hears about the actual context of why that person was killed in order to protect these girls, how would she feel? Ryos, bro, whom... Dude, if... A1 Pictures won't show us that episode 10 moment, right? If they do, at least show us Ryos jumping on the bed. That's the best moment. It's not even your fault, though. It's not. Sad Kohais. All they do is suffer. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! And by the way, someone said in the light novels, Whom Beard and Ryos, like, they did the deed. In the anime, they didn't show it. They made it look like it was gonna happen. I hear in the source material, like, that shit straight up fucking happened. Which is, again, it's just so fucked up. <laughs> I am just sometimes, not sometimes, quite often. I. What the fuck is going on in this author's head? Like, he must be the creepiest motherfuckers if he keeps bringing back these elements in every goddamn season. I swear there's a part of him that wants to be that way. <laughs> I mean, fuck the Ryo's Humberry moment. Think about last episode with dark fucking Fanatio. Like, again, like, A1 Pictures combined with the author of SEO. You know, they're a diabolical duo. <laughs> just, I just can't even just... It's like the, the animator is just like drawing and making all those scenes come to life. It just, it, 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 it has such polish to it too. That's the, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, the Dark Swordsman. Versus, uh, Fanati, no, that's, uh, Chud. The fuck? Strip. Wait, just like how Kirito, so this is uh, the uh, the image memory, the memory image or something like you basically uh, have some sort of belief, right? You tie down your strong feelings towards something and you become that like the Black Swords and Aincrad, that's the inspiration here, the, like, the mental image. And now it's just like this is Alice Zuberg mental image. So we're back to like episode one, you know, the blue apron, right? Yes. ほら、心の従属物に過ぎないのよ。心は誰にも怪我にも育つはずだった。でも、11歳の時に記憶を消されて整合機種になったの。そんな運命を呪った時もあった。でも、キリトが教えてくれた。だから私はもう迷わない。
and I feel like I've had so much hours grinded in that like it's pretty much real fucking experience. Now, playing a video game versus actual full diving and using swordsmanship in Aincrad, right? We can't be joking, it's, it's real experience, but this is what they mean by that, right? Kirito's experience, full diving, fighting, you know, that, that is the actual combat experience, even though Berkeley been doing this shit for fucking hundreds of years here. <laughs> The seed! Fanatio, Fanatio. Fanatio. What? That lipstick! <laughs> Dude, again? What? I just. One of the funniest moments, maybe just for me, I don't know if this is because I'm fucked up, but like when Kirito said to Fanatio, who do you wear that makeup for? Why do you still put on that lipstick? D dude, that moment just was the funniest shit to me. It was such a serious moment. And he's like doing talk no juice to, to reason fun out to you to say like, you know, it, it's not because people look down on you as a woman, you know, it's just, just that title. And now she's wearing lipstick for Berkeley, bro. Everything is good. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, fuck. She's speaking very ladylike. Okay, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Thank you. I, I am now putting my lipstick on proudly. Same with my makeup. Thank you, Kirito, for the advice. So I guess that Dark Berkeley character did go easy on her because she reminded him of Dark Fanatio and clearly there are some sort of like lovers, right? And that's why she had this like, I don't know, she was just upset like, Oh, you look down on me because I'm a woman. No, 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 chill. Chill. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Who do you wear that makeup for? Crazy lines, bro. And we saved her on top of that, too. Wait, what are you fucking talking? You saying this in front of Berkeley? You basically saying, I'm gonna give him a fucking lap dance right now, see if that motherfucker moves or reacts. What? That's crazy what you're saying right now. <laughs> Ooh, what's your relations there? Man, and Alice is gonna get cucked when Asuna shows up. But, like, how is Asuna gonna show up? It's gotta be a god account. It's gotta be like God Stacia, something that directly opposes. Vector. How is that gonna work? When's Asna showing up? Come on! Oh. Oh, a little bit of rivalry on like, do I need permission to see your man? Slice of life moments. Sure, sure. Except Yu-Gi-Oh. Nani? You went easy on me? <laughs> and he's gone. Berkeley got time for that shit. Come on, women! Very cute slice of life moment between Fanatio and Alice. Alright, let's get out of here. We have no numbers, man. Like, we are so fucking cooked, man. Oh, hey! We have our senpais, right? Yujiro senpai, Kirito's senpai. Huh, she didn't come visit though. I th Lena senpai should have showed up with TC and Ronnie, right? Instead, they kind of just skipped. And yeah, there's a lot of fucking just foot soldiers, right? If you see people in these armors, they're just gonna die immediately. <laughs> Honestly, these night the four heavenly <laughs> dude. The four heavenly swords is so disrespected on, they don't even have the screen time to fit in all four in this frame. It's just the three heavenly blades right now. Where did the fourth one go? What the fuck? I don't remember the green one here. Yo, yo, who the fuck are these two new characters? I don't remember these two here. The wall. Oh, 
That's actually pretty good in terms of like strategy. If there's only one position that the enemy can attack and it's like a choke point, like a very narrow way, suddenly the numbers doesn't really mean much because one person could be fending off, you know, uh, the amount of people passing through in this small you know, surface area. But I mean, I, I could see motherfuckers flying over this shit. This shouldn't be such a big advantage for us. Ogres, longbows, ranged attacks. Dodge it. Okay. 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 If we can consume every last bit of it before the battle starts, and we're talking about natural resources on the ground. So, Sacred Arts is dependent on the sun and the light. But I thought Dark Arts doesn't need that shit. And Fanatio right now is saying there's a lack of resources on the other side because it's so dark. And if we can get rid of this shit, then you know, consume every last bit of it. So I don't really know exactly what she's talking about, but the battle star. Because they don't know. Are they just dumb? They just... Because they don't know that those dudes don't fucking use dark arts. Like, I'm, I'm not too sure what exactly it here is. She talked about blades of grass. I don't know, man. But they got dark arts. They don't need that shit, right? So... Okay, if we're gonna... Okay, so right now, we are very stupid, right? Because, like, Fanatio and the rest of us are thinking they use Sacred Arts, too. And if we get rid of that shit, if we consume it all, they can't use it anymore. But it's going to be like, psych, we use Dark Arts, motherfuckers, and it's going to be a moment of, oh, no, how could this have happened? Is, is that what's going on? Okay. Okay. Just don't get hit. Just... <laughs> So no healing, all right? We, we, we got the healing potions, but this is a very high gamble of getting rid of these sacred arts and shit. Right. Good luck. Is there more resources built up? Oh. What? Really? The fuck? Okay. The true sacred power that can split the heavens and rupture. What the fuck is going on? Wait, 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 wait. Alice has surpassed every integrity knight, apparently. And the true sacred power that can split the heavens is something she can get if she sucks up all the resources in the ravines. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Dude, Kirito is looking in the eye, man. Dude, I feel like Lina Senpai should have some dialogue here and like visit Kirito, man. She was so important before. That's the moment. That, that's the moment Kirito regains. Because like, before, right? It's like, hmm, I just feel like this boy won't move until like... Something bad happens to you, Alice. Like, you, you, I'm like, all right. So, you know, Alice about to die, yells for Kirito, then Kirito, boom, returns. But I thought Asuna would be the key. <laughs> Look at his face, dude. Yeah, you're my hero. Say it. And like, what is Pontifex doing right now? Did she actually escape at the end of season three? Is she around here somewhere waiting for her chance? Is she at the portal ready to kill Steel when we're about to eject Alice's light cube? What is going on with Queen Because like, she's not done yet. She promised. I'll see you motherfuckers on the other side. And then <laughs> she got one in. And then... I I don't know. I'm still waiting on Quinella, man. Alright, give a little bit of Eldry fan service.
Did Eldrea really choose Alice to make her feel good and not? I don't know. I feel like he just simping because Alice is hot. And the way that he's looking at Kirito, I, I don't know. I, I feel like a little bit it was because Alice is attractive. Hmm. <laughs> not at all. I was just simping, my lord, my lady. I never cared about your heart like that. You just hot as fuck, so I joined you. Right? This is like the most like white knight way of saying like, oh, you're hot. It's like, oh, your beautiful swordsmanship captivated my heart. Okay. I don't know what the fuck Eldre really did for her, but all right. Because you're going to die. Because whenever you have dialogues like this before a war, my man, that's just a fucking... It's just death flags. Skill issue. Go learn it yourself. Yes, ma'am. Oh, shit. The final orders. What? Eldri has a past lover. Um, I don't remember much of the Eldri lore. Yujiro and Kirito, I think, during that battle, right? They were talking about Eldri's past, remember? I forget exactly what was mentioned in that episode, but there is a past lover during the memories. I wonder if Eldri will sacrifice himself for Alice. I could see that too happening. Because, like, his order was, like, her, she just said, like, you know, like, uh, oh, that was his mom? God, got it. But, like, I could totally see Eldre sacrificing himself for Alice, too, during the war. The wall. The wall holding down all the fucking immigrants. Uh oh The wall's crumbling! Oh, shit, dude. As the ending is playing, look at the army just ready to fucking go. But, like, here's what I would have done. I would have had Amayori... Like, the, both the dragons. Like, Alice's dragon, Eldre's dragon, just ready. And as soon as the wall crumbles down, dude, breath attack and everyone just nuke. Everyone, together, system call, release recollection, nuke this shit. Everyone is coming through this one single point, fuck them all up right there. No. Oh shit, the punitives, the pugitives. War! It's happening! Vexta is coming too? We're so fucking cooked, bro, compared to them. But like, straight up, this is so stupid. We should have the dragons ready to do breath attack. Dusselvolt with the fire arrows. Oh, hey! The four heavenly blades. The fourth one made it into frame this time. Only three of them were present during the meetings, but the fourth one is still around. Eldrie! I do not remember her. There's two new Integrity Knights, her and the green hair girl that I do not remember. This girl straight up looks like Shinon. Like, you ask me who this girl is, the hairstyle is just Shinon, bro. But we have two new Integrity Knights that I've never seen before joining in in the battle. Broccoli! Amayori! Final load test on the wall. Here we fucking go. I thought they would leave him in the tent. I don't think they would actually bring him all the way to the fucking, you know, to the war. I, I don't know. I thought he'd be chilling in the fucking tent until Al says something. The kids are here too? Shit. The wall's broken. Illegal immigrants coming across the border. Here we go, man. And that's today's SAO episode. The war is happening. Today's episode was the battle before the war. I expected a lot more death flags to be shown, but if there were any death flags, mm, probably with Alice, right? Saying like Kirito's not gonna move until like you're in danger or some shit. And then a little bit with Eldry as well. Who knows if Eldry might sacrifice himself for Alice, but other than that, we're just trying to prepare for the war. Kirito is still out of it. And he's not going to move until Alice is in pure danger or if Asna does something. I straight up thought that Asna would show up before the battle as like a goddess descending from the heavens and like 
encourage uh, our troops and give them moral support. But she still has yet to show up, so she'll probably show up during the battle then. And I think something like that still can happen when things are looking really bad. The goddess Stacia, if she does have the Stacia account to show up and just like fuck shit up. Um, Alice and Kirito? I know that Alice isn't, isn't in love with Kirito, but here... This is kind of interesting, the scene happening here and saying like, hmm, if I showed you all my willpower, would you react or something? And uh, Tisa and Ronnie, a lot of sad moments. I'm kind of sad that Lina Senpai didn't get to also see what happened to Kirito. <laughs> what, do I want Lina Senpai sad as well? No, I just wanted Lina Senpai to join in and, you know, talk with Tisa and, 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 and Roni because they were the most important people around Kirito and Yuji during the Academy arc. But uh, Yuji was, you know, Senpai is also here. But we have two more new Integrity Knights too. There's like a purple haired one and a green haired one. The green haired one looks a lot like Tsinon. I still want them to link stuff, but I don't think there's enough STL technology, right? And they're not even in the ocean turtle, so that's pretty much it. The wall's falling down. It's looking pretty bad. Like, straight up, we have like a strategy, right? It's a high risk, high reward, you know, getting rid of the fucking resources. And Alice apparently is this like chosen one. We know she's special, but the show directly said Alice. You surpassed all the Integrity Knights, and you can split the fucking heavens and earth if you suck up all the resources. So, there's gonna be some insane mobiles coming in the next episodes, and I'll be waiting for that. And that's it for me. If you're still here, though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for even more content, and until next time, take care.